Hey, what's going on, guys? Core X Designs here, and welcome to another 3D Studio Max tutorial in which we're going to be using Illustrator actually. So, as you can read from the title of the video, today I'm going to be showing you how to get some really complex shapes into 3D Studio Max and you know how to use them in your project. So, I've been getting this question a lot like, how do you make the Apple logo and how do you make your logos in, in general in your all your speed models? Now, I do not model them in 3D Studio Max because that'd be just insane. I, instead, I use Adobe's Illustrator program in order to uh, to do all that stuff. So let's do this. let's just go ahead and try to do that. Now I'm gonna be searching for a logo here. Um, let's say Apple logo, and you want to choose a logo which which is preferably black and white only. Uh, that, that's just preferred because that's just the way Adobe uh, Illustrator will work better. So example, this one this just has two colors and it's gonna work perfectly for Illustrator. So I'm going to go ahead and click on view original image and I'm going to save this image on my desktop. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and take this image and open it up with Illustrator. Okay, control O to open up a file and go ahead and open up the Apple logo. So there we go, we can see that we have the Apple logo. You can size it down if you want to. Uh, however, it doesn't really matter since it's a vector. It's going to it's, I mean it's going to be a vector. So as you can see, that's the uh, that's the Apple logo. Now, if you have the uh, Illustrator CS6, you're gonna see the image trace uh, button right here, and that's that's just pure gold when you want to do stuff like this. If you're on CS5 or, or or lower, what you wanna do is find this image trace, and I'm I'm not sure it's, if it's there beneath the CS5 or not. It's surely there in CS5, and it's somewhere here, here only, and on this bar. In CS6, it's called image trace, and CS5 or lower, if it exists, it's called life trace. In CS5, which already exists, it's called life trace. I'm not sure it's if, if it exists in CS4 or lower. Oh, it's going to be here, it's going to be called life trace. Now, for me, it's called image trace, and what we have here are a couple of presets. So if you click on this, we have some presets like default, three colors, low fidelity. Uh, let's, well, what you're going to do is first off, let's go try and do default here and then hit image trick so it's gonna work and as you can see the color changed and what happened actually is uh, the color did not change but illustrator actually converted this into a vector so now if we hit expand here you can see that we have all these pots and it looks and it just looks really cool now it, now this this was extremely easy I didn't have I didn't have to even have to use the pen tool to create this now doing this in 3D Studio, uh, you know, putting it in 3D Studio Max and bev uh, applying a bevel modifier is extremely easy. So what you can do next is just hit File, Save As, and I'm just going to save it as a desktop, as an Adobe Illustrator file. Hit Save, and then this is the important part. Now in this in this new dialog box, you want to select the version to be Illustrator 3. Now 3D Max supports really old versions of Illustrator, not CS6 and newer versions. And I'm not sure which from which version it supports, so I'm just going to choose the lowest one that possible, Illustrator 3, and this is surely going to use it. I mean, I mean support it. I'm going to hit OK here, and you get this get this error that says the you know uh, you know some stuff might be lost, but since we're using only pots, uh, nothing actually will be lost. So we just hit OK here. Now we open up 3D Studio Max. So all we need to do now is just uh, open up 3D Studio Max. And click on this green huge button here and go to import and you just want to hover over it don't click on it yet and you can hit import here okay now we're going to go ahead and uh you know brush the file that you just saved and i say open this and you say open here and you want to say merge objects completely not completely replace uh, because if you have some stuff already there it's going to replace it so hit ok here and you want to import shapes as a single object this is important otherwise it's going to be really difficult to handle just hit OK here and you can see that we have the Apple logo right there and it's it's perfect so I'm just gonna go ahead and really quickly scale this up because it's really small it usually it usually arises really small now we I usually get one error when I get this when I do this so I'm just gonna go ahead and apply a bevel modifier straight away and you can see that it changes to a complete uh, square and nothing and you can't see the Apple logo now the reason that's happening is because if you go into the editable spline, we have this this uh, green border there. So we're going to go to spline, click on that border, and then hit delete. Now, as you see, this border also selects some part of the logo, but, that's, but that doesn't matter. So what happens from Illustrator, actually, is we have two, two lines on every line here. I'm not sure if you understand this, but if I delete this, it's not going gonna, gonna, to delete this part. Delete. 
and you can see that we still have one and if we go ahead and delete this you see that we still have one now what happens actually is Illustrator puts in two parts at the exact same position so when when we import it in 3D Studio Max it's like two splines with at the exact same position so bevel cannot handle it now if you go ahead and apply the bevel it's gonna apply perfectly and you can have you can do some really cool stuff with it okay so again why did we delete everything uh, everything you know delete every splice in fact let me show you again by a more complicated logo so I'm just gonna go ahead and search okay I searched life trace so um, I'm just gonna really quickly search for say Oppo logo because that's, that's just the first thing that comes into my mind right now I'm gonna click on this and it's I, as, as I told you I, it should be preferably two two colors this one is green and white so you can see whoa okay so I'm just gonna right click save image as go to my desktop hit save Okay, really quickly go into Illustrator and I'm just going to close this file and hit Ctrl O to open the Apple logo and then I'm going to do the same thing. Select the image, click on image trace. Actually, don't click on image trace, click on these options here, default. So, as you can see, the default one works pretty fine except in this place, but that's just a small thing and we can actually go ahead and duplicate this o over here. So, it won't make a difference in 3D Studio Max, you can do that much. So, you can expand here and create some stuff here. Now, if you're wondering why I don't delete these paths over here only, if I try to select this path, uh, whoops, if I try to select this path and delete it, it's going to delete everything. That's why we do it in 3D Studio Max. So we go File, Save As again. On the desktop, just hit Save and Illustrator 3. Make sure you do this. This is very important. Yeah, we hit OK and OK again. We go back here, delete this, and let's go to Import. Import. Whoops. So you want you don't want to click on that yet. You want to go ahead and import. I mean, you want to hover over it. So we go import, and we go import again, and just go ahead and open up this file or the Opal logo. I didn't change the name here. So we open merge objects. Okay, single object. Okay, and we do the same thing. We go spline and delete the outer one first thing. Delete. And then you can't see it right now, but there are actually two splines on every letter. So we click on this, delete, click on this, delete, this, delete, this, delete, and uh, this, delete. Okay, I'm just going to really quickly delete the entire thing and just holding down shift, create another O there because that was kind of messed up. And then we apply the bevel modifier and everything looks cool. You can also go ahead and scale this if you want to, but if you do scale it, make sure to do it after, before the bevel, otherwise this completely destroys the bevel modifier. Okay, so as you can see, you have the Apple logo. So as you can see, that's that's the way I usually create all of my logos, and I do not model them in 3D Studio Max because that'd be insane. So yeah, uh, this is pretty much it for this tutorial. It's going to be a really short one. So I hope you guys liked it. If you did, please go ahead and hit the like button down below and subscribe to the subscribe to my channel and share the video with your friends if you really like it. So again, thanks for watching and have a nice day.